We often cover the extraordinary yet unexplained ruins that can be found all over our planet. However, as many of these ancient sites indicate, our ancient lost ancestors clearly had substantial advanced understandings we are yet to unravel. We feel, it is clear, that they were indeed technologically superior to us, the modern man. Thus, the question we must ask, just as we are, was this clearly advanced civilization capable of space travel? If so, then why did they not survive the mass exodus, which many feel befell the rest of these lost civilizations? Many people throughout history have been extremely interested in the concept of inhabiting other planets. In many ways, the habitation of other space bodies is a sound strategical contingency for species survival. For in a world at the mercy of other space bodies hurtling through the cosmos, not putting all of one's eggs in one basket will always be a great survival technique, giving the species twice the chance of survival. Mars, our nearest neighbor, has been the subject of countless theories involving past civilization, ancient or human, and the focus of NASA's most expensive space exploration missions, spending vast sums in the pursuit of several successful touchdown, and indeed, as mentioned, for a good reason. And just like the many ancient, advanced, unexplained features upon our planet, any past inhabitation, no matter how primitive, would not only be ignored, but logically, much more easily suppressed than the finds we share which can be explored by us here on Earth. For exactly the same motives as ruins on Earth are ignored, any ancient civilization that could be found upon Mars would meet the same fate. For the proof of ancient civilization, predating that which academia has condemned themselves to dating and explaining as our more primitive modern ancestors' work, has to be suppressed. Academia must protect public confidence for the protection of current, profitable theory. Was Mars once inhabited? Was it inhabited by us? Perhaps the most worrying question surrounding all of this, with academia so hell-bent on appearing correct, Will we, as a species, ever find out? There are many unexplainable ruins upon our planet, whose age, or indeed true origins, are still an enigma to be unraveled. However, we feel that thanks to ours and many others' astute and devoted research, we do now have a very thorough understanding of past lost civilizations' capabilities. In some areas, there is undoubtedly more than one advanced ancient phase of building work. For instance, we feel that the ancient pyramids of Giza, ancient relics photographed from almost every angle, now, thanks to alternative research and in-depth scientific investigations, shows clear indication of at least three phases. These three phases are also possibly evident at many other ancient sites, in particular Peru. What's important regarding these phases is that although they have undoubtedly been accomplished at vastly different times in history, they are all incredibly advanced. In fact, they are far more advanced than any ancestral attempts to recreate them, which can be found throughout our own thoroughly academically documented history. This throws up some controversial implications. For example, did this ancient civilization, just like ours, develop to a point where they were capable of space travel? Or perhaps, a more interesting posit, were these most sophisticated and indeed ancient ruins left by a civilization who actually traveled here from another planet to begin with? Perhaps Mars? Since its discovery, Mars has been the subject of countless theories regarding the possibility of past life having once flourished upon its surface. There are even those who have proposed and relentlessly searched for an ancient advanced human civilization having once inhabited its red landscape. We have indeed shared a number of Martian theories, supported by compelling physical evidences from its surface including the mystifying cleaning events which have been experienced by each rover while still able to move on the planet. 
Although many of the most compelling, possibly ancient artifacts found upon the Martian surface have indeed been covered by numerous sleuths, we feel the following object's possible identity may have been overlooked. Pictured within a NASA image known as Sol 746, presumably taken on the 746th day, it shows a perfect sphere resting in the red dust. Although noticed, its puzzling characteristics, surprisingly, have yet to be linked with one of the most recognizable UFO shapes of the modern age, the metallic sphere. These objects, not only witnessed, documented, and video recorded on nearly every continent on Earth, they have also been the object most often recorded on many inches of unexplained NASA footage from low Earth orbit, lunar, and now, we feel, much further afield. Could this mysterious sphere actually be a crashed metallic UFO? Although spheres appear in nature under the identification of land pearls, its origins would have involved tremendous amounts of water, something that has not been seen on Mars for an extremely long time. Could this mysterious sphere, photographed by NASA, actually be that of a crashed metallic UFO? We find the proposition highly compelling. The Mars exploration missions launched in 2003, successfully landing two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, on the Red Planet. The mission's objective was to search for clues to pass water activity on Mars. The mission also included three previous landers, the two Viking program landers in 1976 and Mars Pathfinder probe in 1997. Both rovers were given an expected lifespan of just 90 days due to the notorious dust storms present on the surface. Spirit lasted an incredible seven years, surviving until 2010, yet mysteriously, Opportunity is still functioning to this day. This is due to several events which have become known as cleaning events, which over that last 14 years have been mysteriously cleaning the rover's solar panels. Designed to go offline during the night to save energy, it is during these hours that something, or someone, has been helping to keep our rovers running. Opportunity has since been given five mission extensions, which it has successfully completed. In July 2007, during the fourth mission extension, severe Martian dust storms blocked sunlight to the rover and threatened the ability of the craft's survival. However, when the dust storms lifted, they revealed that something had cleaned the rover of nearly all debris. On May 1, 2009, during its fifth mission extension, Spirit became stuck in the soft soils of Mars. After nearly nine months of attempts to get the rover back on track, including test rovers on Earth, NASA announced on January 26, 2010 that Spirit was retasked as a stationary science platform. Strangely, it seems, because the rover was not moving, it missed subsequent cleaning events, leading NASA to lose contact shortly after. Most recently, Opportunity has seen a surge in energy after a cleaning event in March, the Martian month coincidentally resulting in a power boost of 70% when compared with power levels at the start of this year. And now mission scientists have released a self-portrait photo of the Mars rover. When compared with the dust coverage at its worst, the difference is nothing short of dramatic. Having just survived its sixth Mars winter, thanks to the most recent cleaning event, Opportunity now has solar panels that are as dust-free as they were when they entered the Martian atmosphere. Just what exactly has been cleaning the rovers on Mars? Covert astronauts? Or maybe it's aliens? Whatever it is, we may never know.
Now I'd like to go on to the next graphic and let's linger on this one a moment because this is worth looking at. This is a very strange pair of images. These are two images. They were taken 12 days apart and this just happened. I mean, this is going on right now. This is where Opportunity is currently parked. And you can see 12 days apart, a rock just simply appeared. On January 8, 2014, a strange Mars rock was spotted by Opportunity, resting in a spot where earlier there was nothing but soil. The rock, which scientists now call Pinnacle Island, is in the shape of a donut, white on the outside, red in the middle. It appeared after Opportunity had just finished a short drive. It looks like a jelly donut, said Steve Squires, the rover's lead scientist at Cornell University in Ithaca during a recent NASA event, marking Opportunity's 10th year on Mars. It appeared, it just plain appeared at that spot, and we haven't driven over that spot. Strangely, NASA has remained pretty silent in regards to the details of the find for the past few years, only recently coming forward to claim they had solved the mystery of its sudden appearance, claiming the rover had indeed disturbed the rock somehow. The odd rock is located in a spot on Murray Ridge, along the wall of Endeavour Crater where Opportunity spent the Martian winter. A closer look at the rock using Opportunity's robotic arm-mounted instruments has revealed, quote, it's like nothing we ever seen before. It's very high in sulfur, very high in magnesium. It has twice as much manganese than anything we've seen on Mars, said Squires with excitement during an event in January. I don't know what any of this means. We're completely confused, but we're having a wonderful time, he stated. Squires said rover scientists have two working theories on how the Pinnacle Island rock mysteriously appeared near Opportunity. One suggests that the rock is a piece of debris from a meteorite impact somewhere near the rover that just so happened to land in front of Opportunity, while the other theory is that the rock was somehow kicked up by one of rover's six wheels during its recent drive. This is regardless of Squire's original comment regarding the rover not having previously traversing that particular area. Did something actually throw this very interesting and possibly extremely important rock in the rover's direction? We already have the rover's mysterious cleaning events, which have occurred on many occasions. With every strange event that occurs on Mars, the possibility of outside help from an intelligent entity becomes less absurd. Did an alien or possibly covert astronauts throw us a bone in the form of a stone? We may never know where the rock came from, but we should all be thankful the rover found it. Squires said the weird Mars rock is an example of how the red planet keeps surprising scientists even 10 years later. He finished by saying, quote, Mars keeps throwing new things at us. As always, thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.